What I've spent the last year doing in the United States is trying to remind anybody who is willing to listen that who we see right here represents the greatest challenge to the United States system of education. Because in the United States, we lose one million students each year. They drop out of our schools. One million students each year leave the schools in the United States. And basically, they become unemployable. Because not only do they not get to go to post-secondary education, they don't have a high school education. They tell us they left school because they felt that nobody cared, that nobody cared about them. Nobody cared whether or not they came to school or didn't come to school. That's their number one complaint. The number two complaint is that they felt bored. So here we have a population of students that we conveniently label at risk who are telling us as teachers and educators that nobody seems to care and also that they're bored. How do we address that? And it's not easy. As the people know in this room, it's not easy dealing with young people who have significant emotional disabilities and learning disabilities because they challenge us as educators. They profoundly challenge our ability to engage them. And that's where technology comes in. That's where technology can help. The good teacher knows how to learn the story of that child, to read the story of that child, and to want to help write the story of the child. But we also need something in the classroom to work with these young people. And I've seen it happen in my own classroom in which I work. Because I used to work for an administrator in my school district who when I asked her for technology, when I asked her to bring computers into my classroom, to bring a smart board into my classroom, anything into my classroom, she told me, Tony, a good teacher only needs a textbook and a pen. That's all you really need. And then something very profound happened in my classroom a little over a year ago. Because when you're named a state teacher of the year in the United States, you get a gift of a smart board. Mm -hmm. So I kind of did an end round around her, and I had a smart board. And I remember now asking her, well, can I get some laptops? And she said, no. So I went out into the community, and we were able to reach and get some money from some charities and get some laptops. But what I did not tell her, what I had in my mind, was that I'm going to disprove you. I'm going to now show you that a teacher can be even a more effective teacher with at-risk students by using technology. I was able to now do something as a teacher, which I've been told all along I was supposed to be doing as a teacher, differential learning. I was able to now find out which students in my classroom were visual learners, which ones are more auditory, which ones enjoy tactile, so on and so forth. And I was able to address their social emotional needs because a lot of the students in my classroom were not intimidated by the laptop. They weren't intimidated by the technology of the smart board. And I was able to use software programs and so on and so forth with my colleagues to actually design curriculums that suited their particular learning needs. And some amazing things happened. We had students who were on the seventh grade reading level who were now juniors in high school, seniors in high schools who not only enjoyed the engagement of this technology, but brought it home with them and worked on it because all of a sudden now they saw that they could not really get frustrated with anybody else in the classroom. They wouldn't get embarrassed if they had the wrong answer, but they also just enjoyed touching things or seeing things or hearing things. They put their textbook aside and now they were given a textbook in which the words came alive, the images came alive. They can touch and actually move things around and it actually changed the whole way that they learned. And what were the results? The results were nothing less than fantastic for my population of students. Those are the faces of the students that are falling off the radar. Those are the faces of the students that want us to learn their stories to come into their lives, despite the fact that occasionally they tell us F you that they tell us they want to drop out of school. They want two things from us as educators. They want our time. Most importantly, they want our time. They want our commitment to them. And they want a different type of classroom. These are the students who have been in classrooms, traditional classrooms, which is a textbook and a pen, and have done, not done well. 
and all of a sudden they start get labeled and identified and we're basically told, well, they've been stymied. That's about the best they're going to do. And yet when we customize learning through technology, through multimedia sources, we can do wonders.